Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com, and today we're looking at the wonderfully named Bulk Crap Uninstaller. Here is the setup wizard you will see when you get started. It's a simple next. Here you can install it on your computer. There isn't a downloadable portable version, however, by clicking here you can tell it where to put it. And once I've done that, I can pick any folder I want. That will allow me, for example, to back it out and take it with me anywhere I want to go. So if I want to put it in C, for example, I could do that. Or you could type in whatever you want. We'll hit next, install. I'll probably have to hit pause because one of the problems I have here is with the VM where it's a clean install and sometimes this takes a minute. So I'm going to click the pause while it does the net framework and we'll carry on. <laughs> Man, that's a good thing I hit pause. That was exhausting. Failed the first time, you know, dot net, yay. All right, we're done. Now what you need to know about bulk crap on installer is that it was originally designed for IT pros and techs so it can be a little hardcore. It doesn't mean that the average user can't use it, it just means I can't spend 15 minutes showing you how everything works on it. But I can get you through what you need to do for the basic person who wants to have a good uninstaller on their machine and this is a good uninstaller. As you can see it's marked as portable now. If I cruise on over here oops, into the C drive my main drive you can see there is the folder so I can always copy this and I could paste it to a USB drive take it with me and run it anywhere I want now so what do I got going here I got a couple things running I don't know what this is we'll get back to it so here you go it really depends on what you want to do right now the way it runs this is the wizard will show you everything you can exit at any point it will give you a color legend as to what everything means verified unverified now, as you can see, just the way it is, it's very safe. I would not play with it if you're not a tech or an IT. And as you can see, you can uninstall all the Microsoft stuff that came with Windows. You can find anything that you've installed. I've installed a few things lately, as you know. Here's a good example, the Candy Crush, the stuff that comes with Windows you don't want. Now, again, if you close the wizard and you have some questions, you can come over to, where is she? Help, start the setup wizard. This will give you some basic stuff. It explains to you as well how it sorts stuff, whether it's gonna show the certified stuff. Again, the guy's done a great job of leaving it just the way most people want it. So this is something as far as the wizard goes, in my opinion, for people who are, as it says here, power users. So for the most part, if the wizard's open, I would suggest you close it it's only going to probably confuse you more so as you can see you can search reload there's all sorts of little settings here with mouse over select all deselect all quiet uninstall these also come up under the right click so let's say format factory I wanted to uninstall it you can do it any way you want quietly will attempt to uninstall it without bothering you uninstall will prompt you as you go so do you want to create a restore point nope as you can see, it is now uninstalling Format Factory. Are you sure? These are the things that the silent mode tries to avoid having you pop up so that you don't have to get too involved. So as you can see, it is complete. You can click Close. And then do you want to look for leftovers? This is similar to the IOBit uninstallers and most of the other ones. It's going to look for leftover garbage files, folders. Let's see what we got here real quick. And we're just using this one as an example. There's C. This is this is actually a folder left over from it. It may not recognize that. It sees one, two, three, four, looks like five different registrancies. What I like about this is this keeps your machine running well. That's why I love these uninstallers. So we can delete the selected. You can determine what's good, bad, questionable, export. For the most part, again, that's moving into text and IT. So just delete what's there and you can create a registry backup if you want. You gotta admit that's pretty sweet and remember it. I would recommend you do because if you uninstall something and have a problem with your registry, now you're in trouble. So the whole purpose of this thing is to uninstall stuff cleanly, keep your machine running well, and if you don't make a backup as you go, you might get yourself in trouble. So we're waiting a minute here for this to catch up. Machine's running a little slow today. It should refresh our list shortly. There she goes. And again, so everything's set up here. So I don't want to get into it too much, but if you see something here 
that you want to manage for example Windows features you see the list changes as you go and suddenly you have a different uh, legend over to the right so now it recognizes purple as a Windows feature so if you specifically want to find a Windows feature you want to get out of there for example uh, you don't use a printer printing document services again you really got to know what it is you want to get out of there you can try and get old Internet Explorer out of there and again as the program is ready to run you don't need to really do anything so all right we're way over to five minutes and I haven't even gotten into uh, all the different operations advanced and again that's more for the techs and IT's they'll recognize it more than most people so stick around with just what it's doing in here and you're gonna love the program working just the way it is techs and IT's those guys are gonna love it because it goes well beyond what your typical uninstallers are on the market they don't do this this is easily the more hardcore version of it so that would be my short brief explanation of why you might want to use it and I've gone six minutes must be a world's record so in that case over six minutes thanks for making it to the end if you're still here and yeah that's it